Another week, another whinge from North Queensland. This time George Christensen was warning that the government's headed for a cliff and he has no intention of going down with them. But hours later he changed his tune. I love being in the LNP. In a complete about-face, the rogue Queenslander denied he'd been a haunting headache for the government. Last time I looked, I was, uh, had my membership uh, number on the LNP uh, uh, dockets. But last time he was in Parliament, he threw in his job as the Nationals' chief whip so he could speak his mind and criticise the coalition. He's renewed his commitment to the team uh, as recently as today. It's... Uh, Honest to say that I have a range of frustrations uh, with some of our directions federally. George Christensen's primary frustration is the growing popularity of One Nation in the Sunshine State. Today telling Seven News much more needs to be done. Malcolm Turnbull's listening. This is a very, very strong electorate. The PM and Pauline Hanson spent today campaigning in neighbouring Queensland electorates. <laughs> Senator Hanson says One Nation is thriving because the major parties aren't performing. The move aside and let someone in who will do the job. As the man responsible for reining in George Christensen puts on a performance of his own. I'll give you two, you, my best shot, but really and truly, guys. Nationals leader Barnaby Joyce clearly unhappy about being questioned on issues outside his portfolio. You should get the agriculture minister on to talk about agriculture. Amelia Brace, 7 News.